Alright, here's the deck review on the Bicycle Gargoyles. Uh, this is a deck that was designed by a guy named Lance Miller. And here's what the box looks like. Not much to talk about here. Let me uh, open these up. So it comes with a card that kind of just goes over the the concept behind the deck. Uh, it talks about some of the history behind the gargoyle, what it, what it represents, what it symbolizes. It's um, it's pretty interesting to read. And then it comes with a gaff card, slashed open card, three of spades. So you can uh, think of something to do with that if you want. And then it comes with your jokers. Just some gargoyle dude. Two identical jokers. And then here's the back design. So, it's a really cool back design, actually. There's a lot going on, but it still looks really clean. It doesn't look overly busy. So you got some gargoyles, of course, mirror, mirror image gargoyles. Then uh, some skulls in the corners. You got the, the cross in the middle. You got some spades going on here with some peace symbols. Really a lot of images in there. Um, and also, I, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but uh, the pupils of the gargoyles are actually red. It's a nice little touch. Okay, so um, that's that's the back design for you. The face design is really interesting. They use a lot of this metallic silver ink. Okay, it's, you know it's going along with the whole gargoyle theme, so that makes sense. But um, you know, it's obviously a collector's deck. This isn't something that magicians would really want to use. It just stands out too much, and also, for <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, color changes, it would be uh, more difficult to get good contrast between the cards. But if you're a collector and you love playing cards, this might be a deck that you would get a kick out of. Let me show you the Ace of Spades real quick. It's a, it's a cool looking Ace. Um, it's a nice like floral design around there, and then you got a cool spade in the middle. But um, let me see if I can reflect some light off the silver for you. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but this is a very uh, shiny ink. It's got this glimmer to it, and then all of the the red indexes beneath the uh, I'm sorry, the red pips beneath the uh, the numbers have a uh, color to it. But um, that's that's basically the look of the deck. Again, you know, I would never use it, but I do enjoy just using it at home. I mean, I would never show someone a trick with it, is what I'm saying. It's not a, it's not a magician's deck. Uh, in terms of handling, it's, it's one of the first decks to have, maybe even the first deck to have used that new magic finish, is what they're calling it. And, uh, what that means is, you know, it's, it's a different coding, it seems, and it, it's just a very slippery smooth deck it's like silk uh, definitely smoother than the air cushion finish and uh, you know so it just fans really well and a lot of people are, are really liking this new magic finish it seems like it might become might become a, a standard on the more custom decks so um, if, if you really love playing cards you like trying different types I would definitely recommend getting at least one of these decks that has a a magic finish. I think there's a few decks that, that have it these days. But um, in terms of stiffness, it did uh, require just a little bit of breaking in, but uh, now it's feeling real good. So handling, big thumbs up. Um, appearance, yeah, it's, it's a very strongly themed card. I kind of like that. It's just... Um, I'm, I'm more of a magician, so I would probably never use it, but I do enjoy having it in my collection. So that's uh, the Gargoyle deck for you. I hope that deck review helped, and take care. Bye.